Hey everybody, this is one of my favorite figures. This is the Captain America from Civil War. Uh, I guess I know Civil War came out like about two years ago, I'm guessing. But it is one of my favorite figures and I thought maybe I'd review it. Um, I did get this figure when Civil War came out. So there is a little bit of paint coming off or fading off. I've been working with him on stop motions. Um, I've also been trying so hard to make the shields from uh, Infinity War, so probably gonna finish those later on. Um, but this is the cap review, not you know Infinity War. Let's take a look at the shield. Uh, I do wish that the shield had sculpted in lines. I think that it would have been good if we had sculpted lines, especially the star. If the star was sculpted, I I would have liked that. I mean, I have another shield over here that has the sculpted in lines. Um, this one is older than this one, but um, you can see where the star and the lines are sculpted in on this one. So I wish that this one had sculpted in lines. Uh, I also don't like how I've had this figure for almost one year already, and the paint is already rubbing off. So I don't like that. Uh, I don't like the peg either. When you attach it to the Captain America's wrist, it's a bit too small. So it can't actually, uh, I mean, it holds on, but it doesn't hold on that, that great. Um, I don't see what these are for. Probably to give the, the shield a bit more decoration. Um, I'm guessing. So, the motorcycle comes with these two, two lines. A uh, light blue, not as light as the headlight. But it's a light blue. I like the graving or the um, sculpting that they took here. I like that they also added these little sculpt sculpted parts on the wheel. That's pretty nice. I like the metallic silver that they chose to put on it. I wish that they would have put on put it on it. Um, I wish they would have put metallic silver on where onto where the feet go to where Captain America puts his feet. But other than that, I like it. I think this gray would have been better if it was a bit lighter. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Not too much, though. Comes with a kickstand, so that's pretty nice. Um, and as you saw earlier, you could, you can attach the shield onto this, um, this thing right there. I don't know, the hook, I'm guessing? Uh, or the steering wheel. Uh, another thing is, I'm glad that Hasbro gave us this articulation, so that's, that's not bad. Just for the motorcycle. I mean, it can do more than just wheels. So, that's good. That's good. Um, and on to the figure itself. So, Captain America looks nice. Uh, as I said, this is one of my old figures. But I do enjoy it. That's why I decided to review it. Um, you can see that the paint is already wearing off on mine. It probably isn't wearing off if you get it, if you get it new, of course. Um, you can also see the head sculpt that the nose is a, uh, is losing a bit of paint as well. Uh, I don't see why they chose blue plastic for the whole figure, but, you know, I like the flesh tone that they chose for this particular Captain America. It's pretty nice. I also like the fact that he has sculpted in details on the helmet. So that's not bad. I wish the A was sculpted in, but it's not that bad. I mean, it, it is a three three quarter inch figure. Um, I like the boot or the the leg. That's it's not a bad leg. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Doctor Strange leg that I reviewed, or I mean the Doctor Strange figure that I had reviewed earlier. Let me see if I find it. Here it is. Kind of reminds me of the Doctor Strange type of uh, type of leg. Only because of the wrinkles and because of the boots. But you can see that the Captain America one is larger and bigger in scale. Um, I do, however, hate, I kind of, not hate, but I kind of dislike the fact that the feet look a bit too small on him. Uh, the feet look a bit too small. And the hands look a bit too big. That I wish they, they had done something about. Um, but I think they gave him big hands. So that the shield could work 
um, could work or could peg onto it. Uh, to pegging it is easy. Just you know, do it as a regular, as a regular six-inch Marvel Legend. Um, I do like that it covers the hand fully. I wish that it covered this hand because I do not like it at all. I wish that these, um, what is it? These hooks or these uh, sculpted in hooks had a color to it. I would have enjoyed that. Uh, another thing on the shield is that I hate the black lining that they gave it. I don't know if you can see that. But they gave it a shiny, shiny color. So that I like that from the shield. Enough about the shield. Why am I still stuck with the shield? Um, uh, I love the blue that they chose for this. Sculpted good. There is sculpted uh, detail. I like that they also... Oh, crap. I like that they also didn't... Um, they didn't skip on coloring here. Let me see if I get the light. Uh, they didn't skip on the coloring right on the po the inside of the figure. You can see the red right there. So that's good that they gave us that part as well. Uh, he has blue eyes. I never noticed that Captain America had blue eyes. So that's, that's pretty strange. Um, so now on to the articulation. Um, the head does turn that far to that side, turns as well to the other. The arms move out about up that much. So I guess you could say you can get him in a cool Deadpool falling pose. So that's that's not bad. Um, his arms don't go down all the way. I wish that the arms did go down all the way. So what I do is I bend in the uh, from the elbow joint. I bend it. I bend it in a bit to make it seem as if his arms are actually going in, but they don't go in all the way. Um, he has r waist rotation, so that's not bad. The belt is nice as well. I didn't talk about the belt, but I like the silver that they chose on the for the buckle. Um, the back as well. He has a pocket. I don't remember him having this in his belt or having the back pockets uh, to be honest with you I don't even remember him having a motorcycle in Civil War but I guess it's a good toy <laughs> um, his legs kick about that far they kick back not too much you can see that there um, he does have double jointed knees which I wish that they gave with the arm that would have been better. Um, he had his ankle moves down that far. You see, it kind of looks weird. Looks a bit bigger. I don't know if you can tell. This looks a bit bigger in my opinion, but looks big. Um, he has ankle pivot as well, so that's that's a nice that's a nice touch that they gave to the Captain America. Uh, another thing that I forgot to talk about the shield is that you can. Choose which side you want. So if you want to put peg it on his back, you can do so as well. It's just a simple peg, you know, peg. Um, but um, putting him in the motorcycle isn't that hard as well. Let me try it on the camera here. You can just add one and put the other one there. And there we go. Wasn't that bad. Wasn't that hard. Did, did it fit? Yeah, it fit. Wasn't that hard. It was very easy. I like to pose them sometimes with the shield in the top of the headlights. So, yeah, it isn't a bad touch. I like posing my captain like that. Um, but you can see that the motorcycle is a bit too big for the other three three quarter inch figures that you have. So, Doctor Strange kind of doesn't fit in scale. Um, my Morbus figure that I reviewed a long time ago does fit, I think, in my opinion. Uh, so, I kind of like that. But, um, 
Let me go ahead and show you the height differences. Crap, the shield fell. <laughs> so you can tell that Captain America stands taller than both of them. And I don't know if he actually does stand taller than Doctor Strange in the films. And I mean, we haven't had a Morbus figure, I mean, a Morbus character in the MCU introduced yet. So I don't know if we'll even get a Morbus. Hopefully we do in the near future. Um, but um, I do recommend this figure. This is a good figure. Uh, I do like it. And um, I'll have a new video tomorrow. Alright, bye.